a description of what is here this is uh, the engine it's a two piston engine it's a uh, electro start that's why you see it's having a battery and an electric starter on it that means you can start it automatically inside without uh, rolling the propeller and then right now this is uh, the gravitational pull tank it's not the permanent one but it uses gravity and then this here is the propeller and this is the spinner that is being run by the engine this is the the power plant that is running the engine whereby electricity is being moved from uh, the battery to the engine and to the starter that is what we are having here who is a two piston engine it's an electro start electro start where? in a battery this is its power plant battery no? battery you know no? down here then this is its power plant as you can see wires with tumble mm. then this is the starter using the power from the battery to start the engine mm. automatically yes, yes. then this is a, a gravitational pull tank whereby it injects fuel using gravitational pull mm. yeah and then the propeller then here is the propeller with the spinner mm. being run by the engine mm. the propeller this is the propeller being run by the engine whereby um, this is the pulley system reducing the the power of the engine that is uh, brought to the propeller because the engine is a 64 horsepower which means it's running in a sonic speed that needs to be reduced before being transmitted to the propeller because if it gets the power direct from the engine it means it will be hard for it to control so it being reduced by the pulley system to reduce on the energy so that efficiency is what we need in the end so so what makes it fly can it uh, what can make it fly making this aircraft fly right now is having all that is required to fly just that uh, we still need to fix some parts we need to fix some um, the we're still fixing the the injecting the injection of the of the fuel because there is uh, an electro injection and then there is a gravitation one but we're still fixing the one that is using electricity to be pumping fuel into the engine so after we we done that we shall have to fix the rudder the cables and everything that will be running the the flaps the aerons and the rudders for the swivel of the plane and then we still need to to do some connection of the instruments inside then get it all together and we shall be good to go
Uh, we began uh, the beginning phases of the whole project. That was in 2015. That's when we started doing the planning and the paperwork. Because in construction of aircraft, you have to first do the plan before you do anything else, before you do all the physical work on the project. Yeah, so we started that time with uh, doing the drawings of the whole aircraft, how will it will appear, like uh, the different characteristics with it and uh, different materials. We at that time we started choosing the materials we needed for for the whole uh, construction of the aircraft. Right now uh, we are almost like 95, 94 percent because now we are doing the final checkups and the connections uh, with the all the instruments and we are doing the engine tests because um, normally like you have to do special checkups to be in a safe version to fly it very well yeah so um, i think within something like um a month or weeks from now we shall be finished up and we are ready to do the final testing Kali, mostly the new technology and this um we have uh, implemented like new types of uh, aerodynamics on the wings. We, we added on some characteristics with it because if you see some predecessors of such aircrafts, so this one is uh, mainly made up of composite. Composite it's uh, a combination of many different materials. I can give an example. We used uh, a kind of uh, carbon fiber we used fiberglass we added in some kind of uh, wood like um, and also some other materials like aluminium and steel depending on the different parts we are using them yeah and for that stronger what because there are parts which you need the strength like the spars there we use the combination of uh, carbon fiber even though it's a bit expensive but we had to just implement it in the use you know the whole aircraft Kali, as my crew we have a dream that uh, in uganda we wanted to be uh, the first company to push because even though you see the ugandan industry we we don't have any industry building even those small aircrafts as such so we wanted to start up with something small a bit like something which we can in our means but uh, in the future we see us, ourselves building a big industry building aircrafts around like africa mainly this project we are running it uh, as a team of three but uh, we have some support from people like um, in aviation who give us advice on certain things like uh, their engineers and pilots they look and they're like over oh, maybe you need to change this on the landing gear you need to change this on the wings so we follow because uh, you know something to do with aircrafts you have to be very critical because on the performance when it's in the air you have to look at all the dynamics you have to be on point because we want to do a safe flying that's why we try so hard to reach out even the technical people even though they may not be so deep into the theme when they come and help us build they just give us advice on what we have maybe what we have put on paper and what they see yeah the one of the challenges we have we, we have had a, a challenge of because uh, we are may have been a student and all others are students so Kali it's a bit of raising up the finance of building the whole thing and uh, other things are like uh, some of the materials we use are not really available so we have to import some of them Kali some are locally around some we just import some of them so you know things to do with the importing and everything and also like in building the whole thing you can do something a work plan of something but you try it out and it just fails working out so there you have to just abandon that and do another one but you have already put money in it so uh, for this aircraft to be like complete we have to be uh, because right now uh, 
we are finishing up with the fuel injection system eh? uh, it must be using uh, both an electric pump and a gravitation pull pump so we are still installing that and some of the equipments we are still installing the air equipment the air speed indicator we have not yet put the um, the vacuum eh? the vacuum on it so like uh, it can't perform well right now so there are other things which are like the connection of uh, the rudder and the uh, aerolons because we just removed them for some time when we are putting up other things inside the, the inside the wings uh. 